Hello, I'm Dudley Thompson and welcome again to WDT Media TV and the forecast for this weekend that Jamaica should be having some heavy rainfall but you can see so far the heavens has been kind to us Let's now hear from Prime Minister Andrew Hollis speaking in Parliament last week, putting the nation on notice to expect more rainfall this weekend. Met Office is advising that forecast models again are predicting, projecting the strengthening of another tropical wave in the region later this week and that it could be a repeat performance of increased rainfall for the weekend. So I urge persons living in low-lying areas, flood-prone areas, persons who reside on areas where we know the soil condition is unstable, that they should be prepared. The pre predictions, the projections are that there will be uh, more rainfall this weekend. That was Prime Minister Andrew, Andrew Holness in Parliament putting the country on notice to expect heavy rain this weekend. But as you can see, so far the heavens has been kind to us. Uh, so far, uh, so good. And as we showed you earlier, heavy rains has caused damage to some roadway in the corporate area and this particular case is causing underground leak here I'm along I'm in drive as we showed you earlier and it's now getting worse here along I'm in drive this breakaway in the middle of the road was caused by the recent heavy rains And the water continues to run along the roadway. More damage to the roadway caused by the heavy rains. damage caused by rain along the roadway in the corporate area and those are just a few of the damages done to the road by the recent heavy rains.
many of these roads, and you know, I, I, I see all the comments about our roads and they being destroyed when it's rained. You know, Madam Speaker, many of our roads, in fact, the vast majority of our roads were never engineered roads. Meaning that they weren't built to any engineering specification. They weren't planned roads. The Gordon Road, for example, emerged because it was first a pathway, a track, horse and buggy leading to plantation, coffee plantations that were in the area. It then obviously became the main pathway and then people settled in the area. Our governments came, put the asphalt on it and there you have your roads and these, this is repeated all over Jamaica. To take a point, the other puzzling, why have we built roads close to the sea? Again, it is where the settlements have emerged and we have just followed the settlement path. That was Prime Minister Andrew Holness speaking in Parliament on November 10, 2020 about the long-term problems that affects our Jamaican roads and is still affecting Jamaican roads up until this day. The Prime Minister went on to explain exactly why Jamaicans, the Jamaican people, are Jamaican settle on riverbanks and fraud prone lands. In terms of its built environment and its infrastructure, we have to be far more deterministic. We cannot allow informal and illegal settlements to occur. Madam Speaker, we cannot allow communities to emerge and then we have to now follow behind with the infrastructure. I don't want to delve into the political underbelly as to how some of these communities emerge and why they have not been moved. But at some point, this nation will have to confront this. That because of political expediency, we have allowed some communities to exist. But now these communities are at risk. And the, the people who live there need to ask themselves, is settlement by virtue of political affiliation worth by life and property. The budget, the budget that we will now have to consider, it will soon be revealed. And that last, when I last presented, I said, Madam Speaker, if only we could bridge the political divide to be able to have these communities that are at risk be relocated, we would be well ahead of the game. Because I know when the question of relocation is raised, you're going to hear objections. You're going to find all kinds of reasons why the persons can't move. And when you get down to it, it is where the names appear on the voters list. That's Prime Minister Andrew Holness speaking in Parliament on November 10, 2020. The Prime Minister also stated that persons will be urged to leave the informal community and be a part of the formal communities when that time comes. On the program called Community Renewal Project, I think White Wing falls under that project as well. I'm Dudley Thompson for Roots FM News and also WDT Media TV. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. And again, thanks in advance and help us. We are trying to gain 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. Offer yourselves a wonderful day and a pleasant viewing.